Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one Nolan, and today we're going to be playing Bless Online. Yep, the game that totally flopped on release. <laughs> I did not play this game when it was going through, like, all that crap. I was going to... I gave up on trying to pay into games. Nah, I'm good. Uh, so we're going to get into it and try it out now that it's free to play. So we got two factions, the rulers of the continent. Defenders of uh, civilized world. A new alliance built a challenge and current. Eh. I'm going to go with them. I wonder. Is your race. Is your race based on uh, what faction you choose? Oh, Ram is too crowded. Oh, I guess it wouldn't have mattered either way it goes, huh? <laughs> Alright then. Guess we're going over here. <laughs> Liquid or well, aqua elf? What the hell is that? That just looks like a normal elf to me. I don't know what's the difference of that. Of course, we got our um, felines, we got our sort of smaller characters. Alright, so let's see what's not available. Alright, the humans are available to Guardian, Berserker. Assassin, Archer, Mage, and Paladin. This race is locked from Berserker, Warlock, and Mystic. So, yeah, take it those. So it seems to be race lock. I don't know about gender lock. Yeah, gender lock is not a thing for race for like classes. It's mostly just race lock. But these guys still can't use this. Nobody can. So I'm guessing it's this side that uses those, or maybe that's DLC or something. I, I'm not sure to be honest. Maybe you have to lock, unlock it in a game. Now let's go with a female character. We've been making so many male characters. Uh, let's go with... Hmm. Hey, you know what? We're gonna go with Archer. Alright, so now we're in the character customization. Let's look around before I start, like, creating my own character and stuff. Are these defaults? Yeah, these are presets. Let's see some hairs. Okay, I just want to see hair. Alright, I got a few choices. What about face? Yes, I know. Please don't give me that every time. I do have all the skin colors you guys can choose if you want. Okay, they got eyebrows, they got eyes, they got nose, they got mouth, they got ears, jaws. They even got a makeup for you guys. They also have face tattoos. Just a few of them, not a lot. They also got sliders for more of you guys who are more creative, you know? You make them more muscular, <laughs> body fat, you make them thick, you know? Or you can do it like this too, okay? And yeah, you can. I, I know that's what most people are worried about. <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. This hair looks so weird. We're gonna make ourselves a short character. We always made so many tall characters. Let's be different from others. <laughs> I 
Right, so what would you do with... Okay, so that you would just... Okay. I wonder. I don't really see anything really different for that one. I think this is the weirdest character we've made so far in me playing games. I think I've changed a little bit. <laughs> Screw it, we're gonna go with that. So, okay, we got different voices. I think we're just gonna go with that and just say, screw it. Um, we're honestly just trying to get into gameplay. I, I've always, like, stayed so long on the freaking screen. Well, customization screen. Uh, we got classic. We got non-target. Let's go with the non-targeting. Guess that's, like, more free aim? Is what I'm guessing. All right, we are in. We have a Halloween event going on, too. Oh, wow, this place looks very weird. So right off the bat, I'm getting, like, a little bit of Black Desert Online feel. Well, that's just me. All right, let's get through this. Don't want to sit here and keep you guys waiting. I mean, so far it's smooth. Normally with games like this, I'll probably like lag or something, maybe. Okay, so my mouse clicking doesn't actually do anything. It is number pad. Noted. And they do have the combo chain that you would normally have with other action games where you just push like a, another button and it continues the combo. Wait, does this say a lock on button? Okay. So I can lock on, I don't have to look at him. And I can just continue to hit. Noted. So that's what's tab. Alright. The tab. I, I don't think it really matters which one. Okay, I guess we're going into our skills now. Where is sniper tactics right here? Oh, does that completely change my skills? Huh. Oh no, I think that just gives me like a new set of skills that I can like combine with others. At least that's what I'm thinking. Okay, never mind. I thought I could like drag it down or something, but apparently not. Okay, there we go. That's done. Sniper is apparently not in here, though. So I'm guessing we did something wrong here. I 
Oh, we didn't we didn't lock it. That's what we did. Okay. Noted. I didn't lock it. Okay, interesting. So if I was to look at this, removes the stealth mode. Oh, okay. So if enemies are pretty much in stealth, I can grab them out of stealth if they're around me. Noted. Okay, so that's how I would change to my other class. Well, not class, uh, my other list. So then I would switch to this, and then I would do this. Okay, so they have, okay, they have something like pretty straightforward. At first it seems confusing, but it's actually not. Normally they would show it up on the screen, or point at things for you. Oh shit, hello. Can I help you? Jesus. All right then, now nah, that was an experience. Just get me out of here. Uh, I don't know what the hell that thing was, but, but it definitely did murder me. I kind of like this loading screen, though. It actually looks pretty dope. If only they would have done, like, the right things before, like, actually <laughs> releasing it to players. Eh, this game would have probably succeeded for quite a while. But they did so many wrong things that it just pretty much flopped and nobody wanted to play it anymore. I mean, it was pretty packed on the first day from what I've seen. But yeah, that's what happens when you just, when you just don't think ahead. Let's say that. Yeah, you gotta think ahead, especially with how players will react to everything. But right now, for now, I'm kind of enjoying it. So I will see you guys once I get out of the loading screen. Jeez, it does take the loading screen a while to get through. Jeez. Oh, God, we're already hanging people? We just started. Where's the chill button? Okay, now we're having a little bit of lag in because they're loading in everything. You're not very familiar with the situation here, Centurion Anita. The Padana scum are all in collusion. We're best off executing them as soon as we have them. Oh no, that's that's a way she's thick. Oh, well then. <laughs> Well, I thought the typical hero even a trial was gonna come in to save him. Hey, you there. Do you mind coming over here and helping me? No, not really. How dare you just pick me out of the crowd? This is the Union Protected Zone. Oh, yeah, so I guess they're like faction battles. Okay, uh, I guess I can get behind that. Okay, and 
I'm pretty sure we're just loading in everything. Let me give it this time. Essence of Quad Run has established its shape. All right, so I just changed the quality a little bit, just to make it run a little bit smoother. So we're supposed to be talking to you. You must be one of the villagers here. I have a favor to ask you. Help me collect the remains of the people who've been oh. executed. We can't just leave them out here. We're not on a battleground, you know. They actually have voice acting for the quests. I wonder how long that will last. Thank you. Doesn't you always last long. That, pulley? that should loosen the rope and let down the bodies. Okay, I uh, I like voice acting for sure, so I like voice acting in any game, so I don't have to read, you know? <laughs> I normally end up skipping the story just because it'll probably be too long, and I don't feel like reading it all myself. What is this? A necklace? This necklace seems precious. Find the family of the deceased and return it. Or I could keep it, you know? That, that works too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to talk to you again? Why? Here, take this necklace. Go to the village and deliver it to the family of the deceased. If you aren't sure who they are, ask at the village inn. I was told a woman named Lita worked there. I'm not very familiar with the situation here. You're a better fit for this job. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, I was transferred here to the Gateway Fortress only a few days ago. I worked in the Cornus Mountains before I came here. You Cornus know Mountains? the Cornus Mountains? Straight to the north from here. There isn't a day goes by without seeing a battle with the Imperial Army in the mountains. See, this is the thing. If you have actual voice acting, most people will actually pay attention to the story of the game. Especially they'll get curious of like other options sure you can talk to them. The yeah, other options that the Character the gives. Lines, most people here lack combat experience. That's why they sent me here. Though I never expected to be welcomed by an execution. I didn't take them seriously. Just a gang of smugglers, you know? But if they have such close ties with the locals, it won't be easy to suppress them. On top of that, Albert, the Gateway Fortress, is acting strangely. All right, let's get past this part because we're kind of running out of time. But yeah, let's take a look at the town. Huh. Not bad. Yeah, it it's all right for a town like this. I guess you wouldn't see many houses like this, though, to be honest. Am I just leaving their food there? Do you know how many homeless people would probably be really hungry for that? Or watch your own food. I'm pretty sure this will be nicer on like a high-end PC for sure, to be honest. But since we're working with a mid PC, <laughs> this is the best we can do. Okay, if you double tab W, you start to run. Seems like they got some shops here. What do you got on you? We got, oh, okay, you just got like crafting material. Are there any like actual potions in here we can buy? Yeah, here's the healing potions. Got some Advil stuff that you can place down. So they pretty much got like open world stuff that you can just put down anywhere and just have your friends use I'm guessing your friends can use them sort of like a tarot system where you can place down like the fire yeah like a campfire and people can go around it and start like getting healed and stuff because some of their stamina back so it's kind of like that in a way if these guys are guards they're lazy as hell <laughs> Whoa. Right. Whoa. So take the necklace. Mm. Profiling. Such a smart person. Can't even take care of an object. Hey, Mr. Unlucky. 
Come here for a moment. So I guess my character has a penis, even though she is female. Good to know. I guess. <laughs> I wonder if there is any, like, directional dodging. Nah. Please select a valid target. You select a valid target. Oh, you're gold. This is the Union Protected Zone. Don't you know that migrants aren't allowed in my shop? I don't want to be seen with you. It will cause trouble for me. Get out at once. Rude. That's what you came for. It's hard to believe a quiet... Hardworking girl like that was an informant for the smugglers. Well, I know nothing of her family, but she was quite close with Lita. You should ask her. Wait, where did the why are they banned it's come not from? Simply a matter of hatred against us. I mean, there are plenty of people who despise the Padana migrants, but as far as I know, it's probably against the law. So they don't have like <laughs> gender. Dialogue. All it is is male dialogue. So I, I guess our character is going to be referred as a um, male through the whole game. Yes, there's a law called. Hmm. I'm not sure of the name of it, but it basically prohibits a gathering of five or more Padana migrants in a closed room. I guess they're afraid we might rebel or start a war. Well, at least it's good that we pick females so we can point out that. It's all rooted in our history. As you know, we fought for the Empire against the Federation. To an extent, I suppose we deserve to be called traitors. Traitors are betrayers. We lived in Imperial Padana. We were ruled over by Margrave back then. But most of the soldiers were civilians, dragged suddenly into battle without knowing what they were fighting for. So much blood was shed between us and the Federation. I can say one thing. Their voice acting, uh, I can say I actually like it compared to a lot of other characters. Especially since I can see their voices actually fitting some of the models. For now, that is. Animation wise, it's pro probably not the best on like the whole looping thing just because he just does this. That's what so many other games do. If anything, you could have set like different animations for each. Well, since he is talking, you could have said like a different animation for him talking that line. Then when that line finishes, then he would do this. But that's just me. I was just nitpicky. Just saying. I'm busy right now, so tell the master if it's in order. If you're thinking of harassing me, I'm not in the mood to deal with you right now. But why? This is the necklace that Lita looked after. She's an orphan with no one to call family. So as for the necklace, take it or throw it away. Hold I'll just keep it then. I heard that she was given the necklace by a lover. She wouldn't say who the lover was when I asked. When I think about it now, she couldn't say because it belonged to the smuggler, Thug. Huh. Actually, can I go back and read that dialogue? Oh no, you would have to read the dialogue when the quest is going on. Ah, oh, so you would miss your opportunity to learn more of the lure about these characters. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of that. Maybe you can go back somehow, but I doubt it. I remember you. You're the one who came here with Lita's keepsake a while ago. Ah, really? You that was just like a few seconds ago. With someone in the Federation to run an errand like that. Would you be kind enough to do something for me too? There are some dead bodies in front of my shop. I went through their things. Yeah. They are, you understand. And to my surprise, they seem to be smugglers. I, I mean, I totally didn't kill them. To ask. As you may already know. I totally didn't kill them. I swear. All right, so we can auto run. Let's see if I can figure out how to. 
Okay, so that's middle mouse button. Okay, so I had to hold it down. That's what it was. Okay, so you would click this to auto path. Noted. So you can stop the auto run anytime by pushing V. And you just sit there. Your pot your path is still there though. So what if I was to walk off path or something? Yeah, I could just walk off path, then when I'm ready to go back, I could just push V again. Alright, that's something I like. But if anybody knows um, everything that was wrong with the game on release, please give me a whole list of problems that they had first went through. Because I would love to see like all the mistakes they made since I didn't play it on the first day. I've only seen Shroud play it, then he was giving his insight on it. The smugglers have infiltrated the village? They must have taken advantage of the lack of security forces while we were busy. Hmm. Capo Alvarez told his men to search. Alright, let's go search this cave. And then we're gonna call the video. Also, it, it can be quest tracking, too. To be honest, I didn't even notice this cave right here. Will you help me? There are so many giant spiders in the cave. I can't. Nah, I'm good. Is, he's still in there. I should go back. Yes, I think he must be injured like I am. We were fleeing together. So we oh, then he did. The mouth. He did. Can you help him? Please? I, we were ordered to. They made their own kingdom. Bro. In real life, eh, I don't think I'm dealing with giant spooters. You can't use that. <laughs> Look how fast he runs. Jesus Christ, that's just pure nightmare fuel. Oh. You can't use that. If I go outside the cave, they disappear. Just because we entered the protective zone. Uh, well, I'm trying to. Oh, okay. I guess everything didn't stick through the tutorial. So I gotta change to this again. Or was it something else that didn't stick? Oh, we don't unlock this stuff. So basically, we're working our way up to sniper again. Okay. And here I feel a. I felt accomplished. Wait, what? Why did you... Okay, whatever. We are pretty limited to what we can use, to be honest. Like, we don't have any, like, normal attack buttons or anything like that. All we have is our little skill bar. So that's a thing. You can't use that. So you pretty much gotta figure out somewhat of a cycle. I like the web movement. Is that just pretty much us going through the web? Oh, it is! Where is it? Okay, nah, that's just the web moving by itself. I was about to say, that would have been, like, really unique and interesting. Ah, rude. Nope, I'm good. Get off me. Could you not? Oh wait, I missed? Come on. So we do have stamina also.
Yeah, nothing special from that. Smuggler corpse thing. Yeah, he did. Oh, find a soldier's corpse. Wait, was that him? Yeah, well, that's him. I'm guessing I was supposed to do something with it, or... Is that not the corpse I'm actually looking... Oh! I was about to say, there's two different corpses then? And like I said, your buddy's dead, for sure. Rip him. He tried. Alright, let's go ahead and get out of here. It's gonna be pretty sad when a lot of people can't complete this area just because of arachnophobia. This is the Union Protected Zone. This. This is my comrade's epaulette. So he's dead then. Hey, if he was then injured he like you, he, yeah, he's dead. At least that. That monster is no more. Could you do me another favor? I'm sorry to ask, but. What makes you think I actually killed the spider, though? That's a real question. We also have a sprit stamina uh, around our archer's symbol at the bottom. And it goes back up so slowly. Let's go back up faster if I just stand still. Duh, not really. Wait. So, yeah, this is pretty much the game off first impression, guys. It, eh, it has a little bit of unique things to it. Not anything, like, extremely special. But, personally, from playing it, not something I can get behind, personally, just because there's other MMOs that I've <laughs> actually been interested in. This... Is an alright game for sure. Uh, I don't know if they've changed anything that they've done wrong since release or anything. So, like I said, give me a list of things of what went wrong during their whole like first day of release because I know there was a lot of complaints and probably a lot of bugs too. So, yeah, like I said, just just leave me a list. I want to read it for sure. But from my personal opinion, from somebody who hasn't played from, like, the startup, I kind of like it, but just kind of not like my cup of tea. But I'll give it a little bit more time before I can actually officially say that it's not for me. Maybe there'll be something that'll keep me interested. But with that said, hope you guys enjoyed. Until then, peace out.